Hi friends, welcome to my channel VLS Aigya. This is Siresha and in this session we will discuss about synthesizable constructs in VLS. So let's get started. Before going into the depth about the synthesizable constructs, let us see what is synthesis. Synthesis in VLSI is the process of converting your Verilog program into a circuit. The Verilog code or the VHDL code, whatever the hardware description language we have used to uh, describe the behavior of the circuit, that will be converted into a circuit. So this process is called synthesis. And we should use that type of the syntax only that are synthesizable by the tool. It means the tool is able to recognize it and it is able to uh, create a circuit for it. So the statements or the constructs which directly can be used to generate the hardware are called synthesizable constructs. Or the statements or the constructs which cannot make any hardware are called non-synthesizable constructs. So we have two types of the constructs. One is synthesizable and the other one is non-synthesizable. Several of the Verilog constructs are not supported by the synthesis tool. So we will discuss in this video what are the uh, syntaxes or the Verilog constructs which are not supported by the uh, synthesis tool, most of the synthesis tools. Okay. So synthesis tools have difficulty to find the hardware with exact delays. So it always finds it difficult to find the exact delays. All absolute and relate delay, delay, related delay, relative delays are ignored in the synthesis tool. So we have the different types of Verilog syntaxes for synthesis. So out of which the first one is fully supported constructs, then partially supported constructs, ignored constructs, and unsupported constructs. So let us see in detail about these four types of constructs. So the first one is fully supported construct. Constructs, these are those constructs which are supported in the Verilog reference manual. We know that we have a reference manual in Verilog and these constructs are supported in that reference manual. And like uh, the constructs, for example, we can take module instantiations with name and positional notations. Data types like reg, wire net, all are synthesizable. Continuous assignments. Then all operators, op operators like we have arithmetic operators, conditional operators, um, logical operators, all these operators are synthesizable. They are able to get inferred into a circuit. Then we have the case, case X, case Z, and case default, function, and function, task, and end task are all fully supported constructs which are synthesizable. But friends, task is synthesizable unless there is no timing inside it. If timing or delay is there, then it is not synthesizable. The second type is partially supported constructs. These are those constructs which are supported with restrictions. Means there are certain restrictions and uh, after that, uh, after which we can say that these are synthesizable. The, for example, we have always block. So always block is synthesizable if you use the sensitivity list. And inside the sensitivity list, if it, you are designing a combinational circuit and in the sensitivity, sensitivity list, if you mention all the inputs, then it is synthesizable. If you are designing a sequential circuit and in the always block, in the sensitivity list, you can define edge triggered, positive edge of the clock or the knock edge of the clock, then it is synthesizable and avoid using combinational loop. In the always block, if you are using the combinational loop, which may lead to race conditions and it is not synthesizable. And non-blocking assignments should be used for the sequential circuits in the always block. So these are some of the conditions or restrictions which we have with the always block. Next comes the star, that is the power uh, division and modulo. These are operators which are 
synthesizable only if the operands are constant or of the power of 2 both the operands are constant or power of 2 then they are synthesizable The another type of the construct, the third one is ignored construct. So these are the constructs which are ignored by the most of the synthesis tool. So these are intra-segment delay. The intra-segment delay is one where there is a delay on the RHS of the assignment operator. So these are the uh, these constructs are not synthesizable. Delay specifications, delays are not synthesizable. Specify. Specify block describes module timing checks and pin to pin timing in very low. And it also describes the path across the module. So this is ignored by the synthesis tool. Then time is ignored week zero, week one, and high Z zero, high Z one, full zero, full one. These are all the strengths of a net is derived. So these are the strengths of the net and these net strength is derived based on the strength of the multiple drivers. And the final strength will get the strength of the strongest driver. So these are all ignored by the synthesis tool. And monitor keywords, dollar uh, key monitor or the dollar keywords are all uh, ignored by the synthesis tool. Weight, weight statement is also ignored by the synthesis tool. The next, the next type is unsupported constructs. These are the constructs which are not at all supported by the synthesis tool. They don't get synthesized into any circuit. If used, may cause synthesis and simulation mismatch. So we must avoid that. Otherwise, our circuit will not function according to the requirement. So out of this, some of the examples of unsupported constructs are global variables. And this triple equal to sign, not equal to equal to CMOS, NMOS, RNMOS, uh, PMOS, RPMOS, D assign, def param, fork, force join, then uh, sorry, force, fork join forever while initial. Initial is always used in the test bench. It is uh, not synthesizable in the design. Assignment with the variable used as a bit select on the LHS of the assignment. If it is uh, like the used variable is used as a bit select, then it is not synthesized. So you must use a constant value. Otherwise, it is not synthesized. So friends, we'll see the synthesis rule for the combinational logics. So what we can do, we have seen the four types of uh, constructs which are like fully supported, partially supported, ignored, and not supported. So let us see what are the combinational logic circuits, which are, which we can use for the combinational logic circuits, which we can use to create a design which is fully synthesized. So first one, we should always avoid feedback in the combinational logic. There should not be any feedback. Feedback means the output of the circuit is given back to the input. So if any of the uh, output in the design is fed back to the any of the input, then that should be avoided because it may lead to unsynthesized design. Okay. Next is avoid technology independent modeling. What is this technology independent modeling? Like uh, based on the timing constraints design rules and all this we have power constraints and all so if we have all that then it should be avoided then um if else or the case constructs are used then that time um we uh if we are using if else uh, statement then uh if you are using if then definitely you should also provide else if this is true okay if false what will happen so that should be present. Otherwise, there is a chances of unintentional uh, latch to get input and the output must be specified for all the variables. Like if you are using a case and you have four uh, input combinations, so all the, all the possible input values, you should mention what is the output. Otherwise, it is also not synthesizable and there is a chances of inferring an unintentional latch. Avoid fork, join and wait, disable statements in your design. 
now what it should be the style for synthesizable combinational logic design so we should use built in primitives like gates and or xor nan or all um, built in primitives can be used combinational udps can be used combinational user defined primitives can be used but you should avoid using sequential udps continuous assignment you can use continuous assignments you can use functions which makes your code much more readable and easier so you can use functions behavioral statement you can use um, procedural assignments and you can use task task you can use but without event or delay control so this is the some of the logics which should we should follow so that our design is fully synthesized because we want to map it to the actual hardware so for that what we need is a synthesizable code so friends this is all about the synthesizable constructs i hope this video has given you some idea about the synthesizable constructs in vlsi so please do subscribe to my channel like share and comment your queries thank you for watching thank you